Hey yo, what is up Thrill Seekers? I am back here at Fiesta Texas for another construction update of Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. In terms of visually, there's not really too, too much to see here. Um, we can see that they have almost completed the indoor section of the queue line um, from teasers that Jeffrey Siebert, the park president, has posted on Instagram. Uh, I am assuming that, uh, or we can tell at least, that we are going to see a pre-show um, during this section of the queue line. Um, he used the hashtag pre-show hash and hashtag um, animatronics um, whenever he was posting about this section of the queue line. So I am very much excited for whatever the Fiesta Texas team is cooking up for us in terms of more queue line experience. That's definitely something that they are starting to improve on is better queue line experience, whether that's more capacity, uh, reliability of these rides, um, as well as different theming elements and things like that. Um, we see that at Daredevil Dive, um, as well as at Joker Carnival of Chaos, um, where they both have a little bit more theming. At least Joker has the fun house and Daredevil has some cool looking signs. But anyways, still super, super excited for this ride. Just a super cool new angle for you guys of this insane first drop. Wow, look at that. Thumbnail right there. Yeah, this drop, once again, 95 degrees, the steepest on any ride of its kind. And it's just going to be absolutely amazing. Um, in terms of actually f actual physical updates, uh, you can see that they have started to add in some of the proximity sensors um, into this ride. Um, and they have also started to add some of their electrical boxes, as you can see up there. Um, they are starting to really get this ride wired up so that they can start testing hopefully within the next couple weeks to a month. Um, originally, they were going to try to open for Roller Coaster Rodeo, um, which takes place on June 9th, but they have since uh, kind of put out a statement saying, hey, we are unsure if we're going to be ready during that time, so expect... Um, more off-ride things versus on-ride things in terms of roller coaster rodeo. So um, we may have seen that just get delayed a little bit. Um, if so, I would say um, at the very latest, we should see this ride open somewhere around 4th of July. Um, they tend to like to open rides around holidays. So 4th of July is always a big one for them. Um, and you may be able to see this ride opening somewhere around there. If that's true, you'll also see membership previews and season pass previews a little bit earlier. It'll be Diamond memberships, so Diamond and Diamond Elite, as well as the, I believe it's Extreme Pass, um, will be able to ride first. After that, you can do Ultimate Pass as well as Platinum memberships, and then Gold memberships and Season Passes, um, or the Thrill thrill seeker pass i'm not sure if i got got those in the correct order but that's all right um anyways yeah uh so that's kind of what you're going to be seeing in terms of opening um in terms of testing like i said hopefully around in the next two weeks to a month uh is when you should start seeing trains on the track um and starting to be cycled around now in terms of roller coaster rodeo if you guys don't really know what that is I got my date wrong, it's June 10th. Um, but Roller Coaster Rodeo is an event that they hold every single year. Uh, well, starting starting last year um, here at Fiesta, Texas. It includes exclusive after hour rides time on all of the rides here. Um, some behind the scenes tours, exclusive, uh, exclusive Friday night events um, in terms of Fright Fest. Uh, they actually have a couple of the Fright Fest houses open during this event. Um, and then they also have some meals, some snacks, um, some different free items for you guys. Um, so it is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. You can either just buy Friday, or sorry, just buy Saturday, or you can buy the whole weekend. So if you want to do any of the things on Friday or on Sunday, you will have to buy the entire uh, entire weekend pass basically for this event um, on Friday they usually have just crack axle canyon open um, so iron rattler roadrunner daredevil dive um, those rides 
Uh, and then they also have some of the Fright Fest houses that are offered in that area. Um, they have those open, um, and then they have some food, some drinks, all of that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of Saturday night, they actually ha uh, have the entire park stay open for a couple extra hours in order for you to get exclusive ride time everywhere in the park, which is absolutely insane. Um, it's super, super fun. Uh, and then finally on Sunday, they usually do some more morning events. So last time, um, the people there on Sunday got to climb the lift hill of Goliath. Um, I believe that they are going to allow you guys to climb the lift hill of Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger during this event, either Friday morning or uh, Sunday morning. So definitely a super cool opportunity for you guys to do that. Man, just acknowledging how insanely massive Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger is. And finally, the master shot <laughs> of the entire ride area. Uh, you can see one of the main differences from last time is something that I didn't really notice from that other side over there, and that is that they are starting to construct the building for the station. This building for the station actually looks kind of crazy. Um, it is a lot bigger than a lot of coaster stations that you see in terms of the, uh, I guess, width of it, um, how far out it goes, um, which is super, super cool. That means that we may see a little bit of theming elements. It also may just be because of the fact that uh, these trains are massive on this ride and therefore you need a lot of queue uh, or a lot of um, space in terms of uh, where people line up for their rows to get on the ride. Um, so yeah, but either way, huge station um, and fully, like, or for the most part, completely enclosed um, from at least the looks of it now, which is super, super cool. Um, so you will kind of start through a couple switchbacks kind of out in front of the ride there. You're basically going to be right in the middle of the entire ride. From there, you're going to go through this big queue house right here, um, and you're going to watch a pre-show, maybe go through some cool themed elements. From there, you're going to exit that. There should be some lockers around there um, for you to put all of your stuff into, as there will not be bins on the ride platform for you to put your stuff into. So everything has to go in a locker. Um, I've been told that they're free. Don't quote me on that, but most likely they will be free. If you've ever done Twisted Timbers or Steel Vengeance or Velocicoaster, kind of a similar idea to that. Um, from there, you're going to come up into this uh, station area and you are going to load. If I had to guess, I would say that you are most likely loading on this side um, and then exiting on this side right over here. So I'm gonna load on take your ride and then exit to the left. Um, now, really the only other things that they've been doing, you can see that they have started to put in more control panels um, for uh, maintenance. You can see on the brake run, uh, they have their control panels uh, starting to be set up so that they can use the transfer track area. Um, speaking of the transfer track area, uh, they should be starting to get everything lined up so that they can put a train in there and kind of start to uh, start to get the trains ready to be tested. Um, but in terms of over here, uh, same thing. All of these white boxes represent different electrical components um, that they use to uh, monitor speed, uh, sensors, um, you know, where each train is, um, as well as the position of those brakes, as those brakes are adjustable um, so that they can slow the train down more or less, depending on how fast it is running. Um, so overall, a lot of more mechanical stuff going into our, or sorry, electrical stuff going into the ride at this point, um, as well as an emphasis on some of the theming elements as well. So definitely we can... You know, if you couldn't already, you can definitely start to see this ride take shape, um, not only in the actual track realm, um, but also in the 
theming and queue line experience realm. So super, super excited for this to open later on this year. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this construction update of Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. Definitely make sure to subscribe as I try to post these as much as I can, um, theoretically every week. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, again, subscribe for more like, you know, comment, whatever you want. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out. Bye.